All right, welcome back everybody. Going to, in today's tip of the day, we're gonna go over the account management as well as order management tab in STT. This applies to paper trading as well as the upcoming broker integration. So the best way, well, really the only way to get to your account management as well as order management is, you know, we have the desktop uh, tab based metaphor in STT. So the first thing you're going to do is, you know, I've got my screeners here running. I'm going to hit a plus and then I'm going to bring open a new blank tab. And then the first option is to bring up my activity. This, this kind of uh, looks like a a, a stock chart or a, a EKG line, but a, basically a line based plot. Uh, you hit that, it's going to bring up my account management. You can see I've got an order here that was executed on it was a short sell. You can see it's a sell limit order on INNT at 1470. The quantity, the fill was filled at 1470, and then the timestamp. So you can also see that then if I go to trades, since this was an actual order and then once it's executed because you know the order will sit there there won't be any trades until the order is filled so now that the order is filled a little while ago i see my fill i see what account and again this applies to paper trading but will also apply to broker uh, integration then you can see the summary this is my active uh open positions you can see that i'm net negative 1,000 shares of INNT, so I am short that, and then you can see my open positions with this paper short, currently I'm up $204.30. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to that stock and close that position. So I'm gonna buy at $14.50, um, submit, and then yes, and let me jump there real quick. Now you're gonna see I have an active order to buy in order to, you know, basically to cover that short sell position. So now you can see that order sitting there waiting to be filled. Um, INNT is somewhat illiquid today, so that, but I chose that on purpose because I wanted to have the time to show you that that order, there you go. You can see I had the cancel button a second ago. That order has been filled. So now you can see my buy and my sell which I chose a short sell in this in this scenario, but think about it. Doesn't matter if you're buying or or shorting the stock. Every trade has to have a buy and a sell. You just reverse the order. So now you can see that I've got those buys and sells in my timestamp. I can then jump to my summary, and you can see that I've bought a thousand shares of INNT and I've sold a thousand shares of INNT, which puts me at a net zero. I had my average buy was at 1449, my average sell was at 1470. So that would average it out if I had made multiple trades. Think about if I was adding to a position, um, et cetera. Geez, I just covered my short and look at that. INNT washes out, just a paper trade though. So anyway, <laughs> so then I can go to my open positions and you'll see nothing is currently open. So I now know that I have no positions and I know what my trades are. Next step, is the uh, account management. So that is the icon next to the activity monitor. Now I can open that up and you'll see that on the day, I'm, you know, I can see my performance in essence. So now you can see on the day on this paper trade, my realized PL was 21010. My unrealized PL is zero because I have no positions. So again, let's talk about an order canceling an order. So this is a good example. So I'll just randomly choose Apple. Say I want to buy at a limit of, you know, 175. So I'm looking to buy on a dip on Apple. I can submit this order. So now I'm waiting for Apple to dip to fill my limit order at 175. So now I can go back to my account management screen and it's specifically the activity monitor. And I can see that I have active orders for uh, uh, Apple. Whoops, actually, did I submit that order? Oh, I'm whoops, good example. Okay, 
So I was, I accidentally rushing around to make this video, I tried to buy a thousand shares of Apple, which I do not have enough buying power to buy. So that order got rejected. Notice how it wasn't in my, in my order screen. So now I'll do 10 shares as an example. That was actually a good example. I didn't mean to do that, but that shows you what happens when the order gets rejected. Now you can see I have a pending order for 10 shares of Apple at 175, which fits my buying power on my paper trading account. So now when I go to the order screen, I can see I have a buy limit at 175, good till canceled. So this order will stay there until it's canceled, the quantity, and then a stop and a fill. Order's not filled, it sits there and waits, and then I can see the timestamp from when it was submitted. Keep in mind, all of these things will useful will be useful for our upcoming broker integration. So now, and this is what we get asked about a lot. So say it is getting to the end of the day. I've got a good till canceled order and maybe Apple's not doing what I want. I don't want this order to sit there for days or weeks. Hence the reason I jump back to my activity monitor. Again, remember that's the line chart right there, that upper line chart. And then I cancel that order. So now I can see I've got no outstanding orders. I can see I've got no open positions. I'm good to go to close out the day. So feel free to submit questions in the comments. And thanks a lot. And I hope you find these videos useful.